G'day viewers, so today I'm doing a replacement on this inverter, uh, the Aurora from Power One. Um, these have a common fault um, and also this also comes uh, as known as an ABB inverter, but uh, they have a common fault which comes up as a E031. Uh, now that fault indicates a relay fault on the AC input and it's a very common fault and um, unfortunately it's otherwise a really good quality inverter they've been around for a very long time that's the fault there EO31 and um, I've put a lot of these inverters up over the years and they've been a great inverter but unfortunately they do have this common problem uh, which causes them to fail this particular one's 12 years old so it's had a good innings um, but the, the actual relay is up in there you can't quite see it but sometimes you'll see where they're burnt out and you can smell it um, the relay can be replaced but if you're handy with electronics yourself you can replace it and have some success I've tried I wasn't successful um, but if you are good with electronics you can do it but uh, unfortunately from a commercial point of view for me to take it off the wall send it away to have it repaired professionally and then put it back on the wall it's just not viable anymore because inverters are, are relatively cheap to buy and then you've got a um a full warranty with the replacement inverter as well whereas if that one's repaired you, you've still got an inverter which ultimately is going to fail again um, so that's the aurora power one inverter uh, with the eo31 fault very common not many of them around these days but there was an awful lot of them back in the day um, can be repaired if you're in the know but um, yeah from an economic point of view for a business and uh, a consumer who's paying someone to repair it not worth it all right there you go